His conviction has been vacated and he's been granted a new trial. After serving more than 10 years behind bars for a crime he says he didn't commit. And tonight, in an exclusive interview, George Powell is speaking out about it all. George Powell taking in a moment he wasn't sure he'd ever see. Another shot at his freedom. Because they incarcerated me illegally to try to keep me quiet. And as I fought for my life, they were heartless. They mean a Bell County District Attorney Henry Garza. More than a decade behind bars for something he says he didn't do. George focuses on music to stay sane. My whole life I've been living for this moment. Everything I've been through, the reason I was chosen. George was convicted of robbing a Colleen 7-Eleven in 2009 and sentenced to 28 years. False testimony from a jailhouse informant who thought he would get a deal from the state if he testified helped put George away. This week, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals said there was misconduct on the state's part in regards to that testimony, which prevented George from having a fair trial. So they vacated his conviction and granted him a new trial. George heard the news on a prison radio. The normally outspoken man can't find the words to describe this moment. What are you feeling right now? I just, I'm just ready. It's, these ain't tears of sorrow. Your tears of, you know, I'm holding. It's hard for him to convey his range of emotions. He's disappointed the Court of Appeals didn't recognize his actual innocence claims, which he says leaves him with no compensation from the state for what he calls a wrongful conviction. They have just taken 11 years from my life, and now they're setting me free, and I don't have nothing to fall on. I'm penniless. They, plus, they took my youth from me. But he's grateful for this second shot to clear his name and once again become a free man. He held back tears as he thought about being able to just see and feel a day start and end and start again. Okay, these pictures of my sunrises and my sunsets. A lot of time in here, we don't get to see the sunrise and we don't get to see the sunset because there's no windows. So this is what I look at when I want to see it rise and I want to see it set visualizing the day that I get out and I get to embrace an actual sunrise and an actual sunset that first 24 hours. Major height discrepancy is leading George's innocence claim. All of this news coming as a documentary focused on George and his case premiered on Netflix today to 150 million subscribers. It focuses on junk science and how that can lead to wrongful convictions. In George's case, an eyewitness put the robber at five foot six. George, however, is six foot three. He wouldn't go into detail, but says his legal team at the Innocence Project is strategizing for this new trial to make sure George never ends up back in here again. There's only one thing that needs to happen to prove that's not me in that video. There's only one thing that needs to happen. And when that happens, there's going to be no... There's going to be no way to refute it. George says he believes he will be free again. And when that happens, plans to start a movement focused on music, positivity, supporting the wrongfully convicted, and helping reform the criminal justice system. And after that, he plans to head to the recording studio to lay down the thousands of songs he's written from behind bars, sharing them with the people in the streets once again, from sunrise till sunset. Since Powell is no longer convicted of anything, his lawyer says he should be moved back to the Bell County Jail within the next week or so. They will then work on getting bail set. For much more from George's interview and details on this development, head to KCENTV.com.